right. Watch it with the Tony. shoving, Tony. man. Excuse me. Just do me a favor. Book this one on aggravated assault and this one over here on murder one. Are you all right? Hey, Did they I'm hurt fine. You? No, I'm Because fine. if they have, fine, you'll be looking at assault charges honey, yourself keep up, there. Sweetie, keep it up and I'll book you too. Destruction of evidence, remember oh, that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just try, sweetie. Michelle. You know what? Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll hold off. I like to dole out my punishment in increments. Hey, Carl! Oh, this is a nice little end run you managed to pull off. What are you talking about, Ross? You knew I was at home with my wife celebrating our anniversary and you use that moment to arrest my client now i'm very anxious to hear about this sham of an arrest you're something you're such a typical liar you're always getting your facts all screwed up first of all first of all unless you got hitched in the last couple of hours that redhead you're living with she's not your wife and second of all i hope this doesn't bruise your ego but second of all i do not base my professional life around ross marlow's personal life and third of all this arrest is not a sham counselor here's the ballistics report to prove it. It's just kind of a relief that this is all finally beginning. You mean so we can put it all behind us? I'm just glad that you and Robbie are okay. We're fine. We're gonna be fine. And you're gonna be back with us by tomorrow the latest, okay? Bye. No, no, I, I just overheard Ross telling I tore. They have no case. Michelle. They have no case, Danny. Michelle. They don't. Um, why don't you come with me? Uh, he'll be right back. Take a break. Sure. Officer, would you excuse us? I need to talk with my clients. Thank you. What's up? What does he have? Well, what are I'm going to go to the federal attorney to see what's going on. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the bail for you is not going to be a problem, but for you... Danny, you are a flight risk, so it's going to be rather dicey. I'll be back as but, soon as I can. Wait, Ross, wait. No. Ross, their, their case against Danny won't hold up, right? I, I overheard you telling Ituro that. Ross? Michelle, I'm glad you thought that I was convincing, but for the most part, I was bluffing. This is going to be tough. Danny's in serious trouble. in lockup. Because they haven't done anything wrong. Oh, that's funny. It's coming from the lady that tried to cut a deal with me. You know, innocent people don't ask for deals. Oh, yeah, they do when they're being All right, railroaded. Michelle, Michelle, that's enough. Gus, this is an agreement from the district attorney to expedite the arraignment of Tony Santos. If you'll join me in the courthouse, we'll get this thing moving, all right? What, what about Danny? Uh, you know, hold on just a second. Come on. Come on. Uh, gotta stop. Um, listen, uh, the federal attorney... We're going to get you a rain right now, and the district attorney has assured me that she is not opposed to bail for you. Good. Danny, however, is a different story completely. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of figured. But why wouldn't he get bail? He's got two businesses in town. He's got a, he's got a wife. He's got a child. Honey, I skipped town. I was before. If the judge agrees to bail, it's going to be steep. Probably prohibitive. Phew, she's poisoned him or something? Well, I'm glad Tony made bail at least. Well, you will, too. You will. Look, Ross has to be pessimistic. It's his job. You need to be realistic. You are coming home to me and Robbie tonight. Sweetie. You are. You're going to beat this rap, and I'm not going to settle for anything less. It's not up to you. Robbie, please. Let's get go, Santos. Right, listen, one minute, please. I need to... I'm giving instructions to my wife and my attorney. One minute. Listen to me. you got to listen to me. Ross will take care of me. And we both know that Aitoro is going to try his damnedest to nail me. We are in for the, the biggest fight of our lives. No, honey. The, the most important thing to me, the only thing that matters, is that you and Robbie are all right. So please, please, don't do anything to jeopardize that. Please, you gotta promise me. Don't. Promise me. Don't tell me to give I, up on you, Danny, I because just, I won't. I want you to just let Ross handle this. And you have got to accept that whatever happens... Honey, 
might not be possible no. to change it. You no. have to accept I that. I won't. Robin, please, let's get the show. Let's move. Oh. Please. Michelle. Danny doesn't deserve this. Well, nobody deserves Gus Ituro, oh, that's for sure. But I'm sure that he arrested Danny in the most obnoxious way possible. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry about everything, Michelle. Then do something. You know this isn't right. But I also know that there is enough evidence to charge Danny. And I can't do anything about that unless I know the truth. And I have asked you to tell me the truth, and you won't trust me. Yes, so you bugged our house, you called us down here and tricked us with his body that you I found I didn't trick you with that. You were trying to scare Danny into cooperating with Itoro. I think you've done everything you can to help Itoro win this case. I am assigned to Itoro, and I am assigned to this case. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, but isn't your job also to make sure justice is served regardless of the charges? Yes, that's true. We both know that Danny doesn't belong in prison. Partly, you can't just let him sit and rot in jail no. until the trial. You know what? That, that's up to the judge. I've been going over the paperwork. May I see? Well, you'll have to wait till the arraignment. That's actually this afternoon. Ross called and changed it. He had it moved up. And now I have to handle it because Ituro is nowhere to be found. Wait, you're, you're handling Danny's arraignment? Yeah, that's what I said. <sighs> well, then if you're really our friend, please help Danny make bail. Whether or not Danny makes bail, um, that, that's not my call. That's out of my hands. You just said you're standing in for Ituro. Well, I am, but I'm just presenting the facts, that's all. Well, let me tell you what the facts are. The prosecution is going to present Danny as a high flight risk, which we both know is not true. We do? You've seen Danny with Robbie. Do you think that he would abandon his own son? He's not Danny Santos, son of a mobster anymore. He's a loving husband. He's a wonderful father. He's someone who's worked really hard to turn his life around. Doesn't that count for anything? Well, I think it does. I'm not asking you to help him beat the charges. I know you can't do that. I'm just asking you to keep him out of jail so that we can defend ourselves. I think you owe us that much. Well, let's get something straight. I don't owe you. I don't owe you or anybody else anything just because I'm doing my job, okay? A job that I swore an oath I'd do. You're right, you're right. My job. I apologize. I mean, I feel terrible for you, Michelle. I do. Do you think Danny's a flight risk? No. Why not? Because I don't think he'd leave you holding the bag. You're right. You're right. And I know that you don't like Itoro any more than we do. And you've seen how hard he's driven this investigation, how unfair his tactics have Yes, but I have been. also seen the results of what he's done. Okay, okay but just, just stay with me for a second. Itoro has been after us for months now. He's, he's wired our house. He's continually harassed everyone, including Aunt Maida. And did Danny skip town? No. No, and he could have at any time, but he didn't, because he's innocent, and he wants to stay and fight for the life that we want together. He's not going to leave Harley. He's not. I believe you. I do. Well, then you can make a difference. If you will just testify to what you know and what you believe about Danny at this hearing. I'm not asking you to bend the law. I'm just asking you to do what's right. I have to tell you, I am concerned about this evidence. But I'm also concerned about what seems to be Arturo's vendetta. I just, I have to stay open to whatever happens at the hearing, okay? I'll just, I'll, I'll do what I can. Meaning what? Meaning I'll, I'll do what I can.